Hey everyone, it's July and I have been getting some questions about my moth setup. Um, I use a sheet and some various lights and this is my setup for here at my house in Pennsylvania. And as we're getting closer to National Moth Week, I thought maybe some of you would be interested to see what I use here. And I'm always, always um, looking for um, suggestions, improvements. Um, but this is what I've been using for a number of years now. Um, in my backyard and part of this I can take out to places that are remote um, without any sort of power supply. Um, so let's take a look. So here is the setup. Um, I have a, a white sheet on this PVC pipe frame that I constructed and it's um, completely uh, able to disassemble, disassemble and um, and so I've, I've just used some half inch PVC pipe um, from Home Depot or Lowe's, some different connectors, uh, some are four way, some are T joints. Uh, I've got a couple elbow joints in there and it's really nice because I can break it down, I can put it in the car, it's not too heavy to carry around and it does a nice job of, of holding the sheet. I could probably have the sheet tighter, but this works pretty well. And um, I, for right now, I just have safety pins that I use to kind of adjust it each time. But I can leave this on here and kind of roll it up on this top piece of the pole, uh, piece of the frame, and uh, transport it fairly easily. So I've got, for my lights, um, I've got two 15 watt, two black lights that were from BioQuip. Um, sad to say that they're, they're not... Um, uh, running anymore the, the the shop isn't running um, but I have one um, that uses if you can see DC power and one that uses AC and this is an EcoFlow Max um, lithium generator essentially and I can look and see how many hours I get on this charge uh, the wattage input output and I can run both of these these two 15 watt black lights um, all night. Uh, I think it's 14, 15 hours. And that's that's kind of the mobile setup I have right now that I can take anywhere camping, um, anywhere out in the woods. Um, but here at home, I also have a mercury vapor light. This is this is just a 100 watt mercury vapor, uh, solar bright. I think I got it from Bulbo Rama. And this is one of the BioQuip um, rain shields that I have my my friend and colleague Pete Woods to thank for um, getting getting that for me for one of my birthdays a number of years ago. Um, I'm trying this other UV light. This is supposed to be a full spectrum UV. I don't know if it's actually going to do much, but I've used it a couple times. Um, and then, yeah, I've got a sheet on the ground. And I typically get a decent number of moths. And I've been looking at moths now for about... 10 years here at my place in uh, Pennsylvania. And yeah, so that's that's my moth setup. I do have these um, these ballasts in a plastic box. They can get kind of warm, but this just keeps kind of the moisture off of them. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but that's what I've been doing. And so, yeah, that's, that's my moth light setup um, that I use here at home and try to do it many of the weekends throughout the summer and uh, see what mods we uh, Yeah, if you watch this video, thanks, I hope it's helpful. Okay, so one more thing I wanted to mention is eye protection around the black lights because um, they do emit UV and we use a mercury vapor light which is, which is more intense UV and you never wanna look directly at it. Um, so I'm wearing, these are prescription uh, safety glasses but they have UV protection, most polycarbonate lenses do. But I also use these 3M safety glasses which have a, a U6, um, UV protection rating on them. You want to, and Drake will show you how you put those on. And especially if you have kids, uh, I'd say you want to recommend, I, 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 I would recommend having them wear safety glasses. These ones work okay for him. Um, and he probably have his hat on backwards um, um, or so um, when he's doing the mothing because we'll have a headlamp on. But yeah, so this will give you more peace of mind around the UV lights, around the black lights. We do it. We do it. You know, a lot of weekends, so um, it's more exposure. Also, you could think about wearing a long sleeve shirt and pants um, to, to help minimize that UV exposure too. But 
yeah, so uh, National Moth Week is coming up. It's July 23rd through July 31st, and it's the 11th annual National Moth Week, and we hope you get out there and find some moths. Yeah.